Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Emma. And today we're gonna to be doing a power class focused around the core. So we're gonna get going right off the bat if we can get started lying down on our mats. And then straight away, once you lie down on your mat, hug your knees in towards your chest. You can close your eyes here and gently squeeze. Try not to lift your head up off the ground. Let your head relax here. And you can give your hips, your legs, a little bit of sway side to side. Or if it feels good, creating circles with the knees. Just letting yourself center. Letting yourself arrive. Find your way to a happy baby pose. Open the knees, stack the feet on top of the knees. Hands can hold the outer edges of your feet, your big toes, your ankles, whatever's gonna work for you. And then try to lengthen your tailbone down to the ground. So notice how it's gonna be lifting up. Press your bum down. And then pull your shoulders down at the same time. So try to flatten your back onto your mat. And you can give yourself a little bit of a sway side to side. That can feel nice. And then extend your right leg open towards the right. Try to keep your left leg still and your body still. And then bend in towards that right knee. Try to extend the left leg out towards the left. Body still, try not to tilt. And come back to center. And then take a second, try to extend both legs out nice and wide. And then exhale, bend the knees back in. Knees in towards the chest, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, lift your head, lift your shoulders up, curl. Extend your left leg and hug that right knee in. And then switch sides. Inhale and exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale. Lifting your chest up, lifting your head up, finding that height. For four more, three, two, one, extend both legs up towards the sky. Bring your hands down beside you. Take a second here, inhale. Exhale, lift your hips up and then plug your navel down towards the ground. Let your hips drop down for your inhale. Exhale, lift the hips straight up. So this is such a minimal movement here. You're not swinging legs towards you to lift the hips. You're trying to shoot your feet directly towards the ceiling. And then inhale, let the hips relax down. Exhale, hips lift. Inhale, relax. Two more, exhale, lift, inhale, down. One more, exhale, lift, inhale, down. Now exhale, lift the hips up, hands behind the head. Inhale, lift your head, lift your shoulders. Exhale, curl in everything a little higher. Inhale, relax it down. Exhale, lift the hips. Inhale, lift head, shoulders. Exhale, everything higher. Inhale, relax down. Once more, exhale, hips straight up. Inhale, head, shoulders. Exhale, everything higher. Inhale, relax it down, hug your knees into your chest. <laughs> Rock up and down the length of the spine. And try to carry enough momentum to not use your hands to stand up. Plant your feet, reach your arms forward, inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, melt your torso down. Halfway lift with an inhale. Exhale, step back towards plank. Walk your feet together, inhale. Exhale, tap your knees to the ground. Inhale, lift the knees. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Three more. Tap, lift for two. One more. Option to lower your knees. Chaturanga. Bend your elbows. Find your back bend, cobra, or upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hips lift up and back. Right leg lifts, three-legged down dog, inhale. And take a second here, lift your left heel high, and then push your left heel back down. Right knee to nose, next exhale. Three-legged down dog, press back, inhale. Two more, exhale knee to nose. Inhale, extend back. Once more, exhale knee to nose. Inhale, extend back. Step your right foot in between the hands, lower your left knee, Low crescent lunge, inhale, lift your arms towards the sky. Pull that left hip forward. Good, scoop up through the low belly. Take an inhale, exhale, lower your hands back down. 
Lift your hips up a little bit. Let's see if I have room in front of me. Make sure you have room in front of you to lift your hips up to extend your left leg forward. So you slide it in between the arms. Hold your body weight back, your bum is hovering here, and see if you can land on a flat foot. You can always be balancing on the ball of your right foot instead. Lift that left leg up and hold, reach your arms forward for three, two. Very gently lower your seat down one, knees both bend into the chest, Navasana boat pose. Breathe here, collarbone wide open. Take an inhale, and exhale, collapse all the way towards the ground. Extend your legs towards the sky. Interlace hands behind your right leg at some point, and then lower your left leg to hover. Lift your head, lift your shoulders. Inhale, switch. Exhale, switch. Keep switching. Follow your breath. If you're a little weird like me, and you feel like you're not even, if you don't switch your breath cycle, your inhale and exhale to the other side, feel free to switch. So your inhales with that right leg up. Exhale when the left leg lifts. Three more. Two. One. Legs up to the sky. Inhale. Exhale. Relax your head, your shoulders down. Reach your fingertips towards the bottom of your mat. Lift your head. Lift your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your legs down by uh, several inches, half a foot to a foot. Inhale. Bring the legs back towards you. Exhale. Bring the legs down. Inhale. Bring them back up. Exhale, bring them down. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock and roll up and down the spine until we come to standing. Plant your feet, reach forward, stand up. Inhale, reach your hands up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step back towards your plank. Core strong, hold for an inhale. Tap your knees towards the ground, exhale. Lift the knees, inhale, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Two more, inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Once more, inhale, lift, exhale, tap. Option to lower knees or keep knees lifted, chaparana, bend your arms. Cobra or Urban Mukha, your back bend of choice, inhale. Hi guys. Exhale, down dog, duck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Just one breath here, inhale, and full breath out. Left leg lifts, inhale, lift your right heel up, and exhale, send the heel down. Take an inhale, knee to nose, exhale. Three-legged down dog, inhale, knee to nose, exhale. Three-legged down dog, inhale, knee to nose, exhale. Three-legged down dog, inhale, step left foot in between the hands. Lower your right knee, low crescent lunge, lift your arms up, pull that right hip forward. Try not to collapse here into the hips and into that lower back. Find that support. Full breath, inhale. Lower your hands to frame your left foot with an exhale. Make sure there's room in front of you and extend your right leg forward. Come to that variation of our, our pistol stand or our toe stand here. Lift that right leg up, so engage your quadricep and core, pull the body weight back, hover your butt, reach your arms forward for three, two, one, lower your seat down, Navasana boat pose, toes lift towards knee height, collarbone wide, breathe, option to extend your legs, take an inhale, exhale, relax all the way down, lie down onto your back body, hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a full inhale through the nose, and exhale out the mouth. Good. Hands behind the head this time. Take an inhale, lift your head, lift your shoulders up, exhale. Now simple bicycle here, so opposite elbow to opposite knee, and your other leg's gonna extend to hover. Switch sides. Let this breath be a little more fiery, so try to exhale on that rotation. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, hug your knees into your chest, nice you guys. Rock up and down the length of the spine, planting your feet, standing tall, reach forward. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift with an inhale. Exhale, step or shoot your feet back, chaparana. Bend your elbows. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Exhale, down dog. Right leg extends, inhale. Come to a three-legged plank, so shoulders come over top of the hands or wrists. Exhale, knee to chest. Three-legged plank, inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, hover that right leg. Once more, exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend it back. Step right foot in between the hands. Lunge. Inhale, lift your arms. Back knee can stay lifted this time. Pull your left hip forward. Scoop up through the low belly. Bend deeper to your right knee. Take one more breath. Inhale. Exhale, lower your hands down. Extend that left leg forward. You may need to step back to find space in front of you. Arms forward. Hold for three, two, one. One, gently lower your seat, lift your knees towards the chest, feet towards hip height, Navasana, boat pose. Take an inhale, hands behind the head. Exhale, bring left elbow to tap your right knee. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Just two more. Inhale, center. Once more. Inhale, center. And lie down all the way. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Extend your legs to the sky, hands behind the head. Working on that rotation again, this time legs straight. Basically the same thing as those bicycles, but legs will stay straight the whole time. Lift your head, lift your shoulders. Sharp exhales, left elbow to right thigh. Left leg lowers. Switch sides, exhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale. Good, breathe out. You can use that really audible breath to assist you so that you know you're not holding your breath, as I see so much in classes. Try to keep your breath on that contraction, on that rotation. We go for four more. Three, two, one. Knees into the chest. Take an inhale, rock and roll. Exhale, plant your feet. Reach up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale, flush it out. Step or shoot your feet back. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, come forward to that three-legged plank. Hold, inhale. Knee to chest, exhale. Inhale, hover. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, hover. Knee to chest, exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale, step forward. Lunge, reach your arms to the sky. Pull that right hip forward, and then bend deeper to your left knee. Full inhale, plant your hands. Exhale, make your way towards that toe stand or pistol squat here. Sink your seat down, right leg extends forward. Arms reach forward, lift that right leg higher, hold for three, two, one, lower your seat down. Knees lift, feet lift, Navasana, boat pose. All right, this one a little bit different than before. As you extend your legs to a low boat, which some of you guys have done with me before, you're going to be twisting your body. So, low boat, extend your legs, and lift your left butt cheek up. So your legs are turning to face the right. Torso stays forward. Exhale, lift back up. Inhale, twist to the other side. Exhale, lift back up. These are gonna be super slow. Inhale, lengthen. Ooh, try to get that one butt cheek off your mat. Twist, lift up, twist, lift up, twist, lift up. One more each side. Inhale, exhale, lift. Once more, inhale, exhale, lift, lie down. Back to your happy baby. Arms on the inside of the legs, hands holding the outer edges of the feet. Stack the feet over top of the knees. Feel free to close your eyes and breathe. Maybe a little bit of a rock. Big inhale. And exhale out the mouth. 
Draw your knees into your chest. Now this time, rock and roll up and down the spine. You're gonna shoot it straight back to a chaturanga. So try to carry your momentum with you. If you can't quite catch that transition, just simply step back to your plank and move through your flow. Exhale, lift up, plant your hands, shoot the feet back, bend the elbows. Cobra or upward facing inhale. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Right leg lifts, three-legged down dog, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee towards your nose, round forward. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee towards your left elbow. Now keep both hands flat. Extend your right leg towards the left. Pull your chest forward, think up dog. Send your hips down. Keep your arms really strong. Chest pulls forward, roll your shoulder blades back. Exhale, right knee to nose. Side plank, stack your right leg on top of the left. Reach your right arm to the sky. Now, you can stay here or simply step your right foot behind your left leg off the mat. Wild thing, turn your hips to the sky. Sweep your right bicep beside the right ear. Try to keep your left leg long, right knee bent, and you're on the ball of the right foot. Full inhale, exhale, plug back to your Side plank, right leg stacks. Inhale here, exhale, three-legged down dog. Right hand down, right leg lifts. Open up your hip, bend your right knee high. Take a full breath in again. Exhale, warrior two. Step your right foot in between the hands. And drop your left heel down, windmill the arms open. Adjust your stance as you need to, so right heel lines up with the left arch of your foot. Send your seat low. Full breath, inhale. Extended side angle. Exhale, reach your right arm forward. Option one, right elbow to thigh, left bicep beside the left ear. Option two, right hand towards the ground or to a block. Now tuck your butt underneath. You try not to stick your booty back. Your chest is wide open here. Draw your ribs in. And then rotate the rib cage. Like you're trying to turn your body to face the ceiling. Full breath, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands down towards the top of the mat, pop to the ball of your left foot, and then switch your hands, easy twist. Right arm opens up towards the sky. Pull the right hip back. Full breath, inhale. Exhale, forward fold at the top of the mat, take a giant step. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Upadasana, chair pose, bend your knees, sweep your hands to the sky, send your weight down and back. Either feet or hips width or big toes touching, up to you. Take one more breath. Reach your arms to the sky, straighten your legs, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, chaparana, plant your hands, step or shoot the feet back, lower. Cobra or upward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. All right. Take a breath in, left leg extends. Exhale, knee to nose, curl and round. Three legged down dog. Inhale. Knee to the right elbow. Exhale, extend your leg over to the right. Keep both hands down. Think up dog, so lower your hips, pull your chest forward. Shoulders roll back. Whew, that's a beautiful stretch. You can inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Knee towards that left tricep, exhale. Side plank, stack your left leg, reach your left arm to the sky. Core tight, option hold, or step the left foot back. Wild thing, turn your hips to the sky, left bicep sweeps beside the left ear. Push into that right hand. Exhale, plug your core back in. Sweep back towards the side plank. Left leg sticks. Full inhale. Three-legged down dog. Exhale, left hand down. Left leg extends. Open up your hip. Bend your left knee to the sky. Full breath. Warrior two. Exhale. Step left foot forward. Drop your right heel. Windmill the arms open for an inhale. Bend into that left knee. Adjust your feet as you need to. 
a lot of the time I see really short stances and you want to think about your feet being underneath your hands or your wrists so how far apart your feet actually matches the length of your body and then you can really sink and settle extended side angle exhale reach your left arm forward elbow to thigh or hand to earth right bicep sweeps beside the right ear butt tucks underneath chest rolls open keep working with that push your left knee more to your left pinky toe and then draw your ribs together full inhale look at the ground exhale bring your hands to frame your left foot pop to the ball of your right foot all we do is simply switch arms left arm lifts easy twist pull that left hip down and back Make sure that it's not just that left arm that's pulling back. Your chest is actually turning to the left. Full inhale, forward fold, exhale, step forward. Halfway lift, inhale, and exhale, fold. Uttasana chair, bend your knees, sweep your hands up. Send your weight down, back. Neutral, neutral spine, core is engaged. Sink a little lower. Reach your hands to the sky, inhale, straighten your legs, forward fold, exhale, halfway lift, inhale, flush it out, exhale, chaparana, plant your hands, shoot it back, lower, cobra or upward facing, inhale, exhale, down dog. Right leg lifts, three-legged down dog, inhale, exhale, knee to nose once again. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Knee to the left elbow, exhale. Fall in triangle this time. Extend your leg to the left, lift your left arm. Option to modify and keep your right leg down. Otherwise, engage your core, squeeze your inner thighs, pulse that right leg to the ceiling for three, two, and one. Left hand down, right knee to nose, side plank. Stack your right leg on top of the left, right arm to the sky. Fall in triangle, exhale, step back, hips lift. Right bicep beside the right ear. Three-legged down dog. Inhale, right hand down. Right leg extends back. Right leg, keep it straight this time. Lift the leg up and open up your hips. So it's like you're doing the splits in the air. Push the left heel down. Lift that right leg up. Take an inhale. Exhale, step your right foot in between the hands. Warrior two. Wing all the arms open. Sink and settle. Full inhale, exhale, extended side angle, this time with a half or full bind. So we start with right elbow on right thigh. Left arm reaches behind the back for your right hip or right bum cheek. You can stay here or bring your right arm underneath your right leg, holding onto your hands around that right leg. Now notice if you lean forward to get the grip, that's okay. But once you have the grip, lean back, chest open, hips underneath you. Your butt is not sticking back. Full breath, inhale. And exhale, release your hands to frame your right foot. Come to the ball of the left foot and heel toe your right foot towards the right. Drop your left knee to the ground, send your hips down, flex your right toes and roll your right knee to the right. Take a second here, inhale. Left hand walks to the left. Exhale, bend your left knee. Right arm, reach it up and back to catch a hold of the foot. And keeping a little bit of activation here. So exhale, use your left hamstring to pull your left heel in towards your bum. And then inhale, kick your foot back or against your right hand so your chest turns open even more. Exhale, squeeze your left bum cheek. And then inhale, kick the leg back, chest open. Once more, exhale, squeeze the foot in. Inhale, kick back into the hand. Bring your hands down towards the top of the mat. Take a second here, inhale. Exhale, heel toe, right foot in between the hands. Tuck your left toes, lift that back knee. Sweep your right arm to the sky, easy twist. Just for a breath in. Exhale, forward fold, step to the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And exhale, fold it all the way down. Reach your arms to the sky, inhale, and exhale forward, fold straight away this time. Halfway lift, inhale, 
Exhale, your own transition to down dog. However you'd like to get there, you can move through a flow, you can step back, you can move through a handstand practice if that's in your body. Left leg lifts. Inhale, three-legged. Knee to nose, exhale. Three-legged down dog, inhale. Knee to the right elbow, exhale, fall in triangle. Right arm opens up. Squeeze your core, pulse that left leg up for three, two, one. Knee to nose, right hand down. Side plank, left leg opens, left arm opens, inhale. Exhale, fall in triangle. Step back, sweep bicep beside the ear, lift your hips high. Full inhale, exhale, three-legged down dog, left hand down, left leg extends back. Now keep your left leg straight, open up the hip, straighten those legs, push your right heel down, lift that left leg up as high as it can go. Full inhale, and exhale, step in between the hands, warrior two. Full breath, inhale, send your weight down, extended side angle, half or full bind, so left elbow to left thigh, Right arm behind the back, either holding hip or holding hands. Lean your chest back and draw your hips underneath you. Push that back foot down, make sure it's stable and flat. You want the entirety of your right foot down. Inhale, exhale, release hands to frame your left foot. Pop to the ball of the right foot, heel toe your left foot to the outside of your left hand and drop your right knee to the ground. Flex your left toes, roll the left knee to the left. Right hand walks to the right, take an inhale. Exhale, bend your right knee. Inhale, reach your left hand back. Exhale, pull that right foot in towards your right bum cheek by using your hamstring and glute. Inhale, kick the foot into the hand, roll your chest open to the left. Exhale, bend the foot in. Inhale, kick back. Once more, exhale, bend. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, release hands down towards the top of the mat. Take a second here, inhale. Lift your hips up, exhale. Heel toe foot in between the hands. Left arm opens up for an inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, we fold it down. Make your arms to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, the last one on mounting pose. All right. Step your left foot to the back of the mat and turn your 10 toes to face the left edge of the mat. So we're in a wide straddle stance. Reach your arms to the sky, inhale, and exhale, forward fold. Now for this first few breaths here, just be wherever you'd like to be. Headstand practice or hands holding ankles or arms down. Breathe into the legs. Two breaths. One more. Halfway lift with an inhale. Keep your spine long and exhale, bend your right knee. Keep your feet flat, left leg straight. Left hand under your chest, right arm opens up towards the sky. Not just the arm moving, again, the entirety of your chest rolling open. This is gonna sound Probably a lot different than a lot of your teachers, but you're going to let your hips get really uneven here. So, right hip stays high. Let your left hip draw down. So, you want to feel a stretch to the inner edge of that left hip into the groin. Full breath, inhale. Exhale. All we do is walk through center to switch sides. So, right hand crosses over. Right leg straightens. Bend your left knee and exhale. Open your left arm. Chest open to the left. Feet flat. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring hands back down through center, straighten your left leg. Okay. Heel toe your feet out. Now just paying particular attention to the inner edges of your knees and how they feel. If at any point there's any strain, all I want you to do is come to a straddle position. Otherwise, Walk your feet out as far as they can go. Whenever you feel ready to, you can always lower your forearms to the ground, and then just keep walking your feet out. So we're in a wide middle splits. And it's different than our normal one. I want our butt lifted nice and high, 
and the inner edges of your legs are against the ground or towards the ground. Again, if you feel a strain in your knees, please modify by just coming to a seat, normal straddle position, reaching your arms forward. Sound good? If you have the space in your body too, you can always rest your chest on the ground. Take an inhale. Exhale out. This is going to be a little bit of an awkward transition for all of us here. If you are lifted up, you want to meet on your seat. Please do so carefully. If you are all the way down, all you have to do is tilt your bum back so that you're seated upright. I know that's not for everyone, so please just transition whatever way feels safest and the most comfortable for you. Once we are on our seat, we're still in that straddle. Flex your 10 toes to the ceiling. Reach your right arm down the inner edge of the right leg. Left bicep beside the left ear. Take an inhale. And exhale, lift your torso up. Right arm lifts and then fold directly on top of your left leg now. So chest straight down. Okay. Lift all the way up with an inhale. Exhale, sweep your left arm down the inside of the left leg, right bicep beside the right ear. So this is a side stretch. And then we inhale, lift up. Left arm lifts. Exhale, fold directly on top of the right leg. <laughs> Lift all the way up with an inhale. Use your hands and gently close your legs. Give them a little shake. We meet in tabletop, hands and knees. We're doing this all for a reason. I'm not just making you do the middle splits on a, month, a Tuesday, I guess, <laughs> for no reason. We are going to come to a kneeling position, right foot steps forward. If your left knee sensitive, please cushion it by planting it on top of a pillow or double fold your mat. Shift your left foot to the right edge of the mat. So really open here in this one-legged kneeling position. Right arm slides down the inside of the right leg. Left hand comes to the ground. Pop to the ball of your right foot. Now, bring your right hand behind your ankle and shrug your shoulder underneath the leg. Right hand plants here. Take a second. So your right hand is on the outside of your right foot, flat, not on your fingers, flat down. And your right back of the knee is on top of that right shoulder as far as it can wedge on top. Lean to the right until your leg catches on the arm and your right foot can kind of hover. Left hand is going to reach down to hold the outside of the foot. Now you can stay here or extend your right leg to the right. And it may literally move two inches. That's okay. Push and keep pushing that right foot into that left arm. And then try to eventually pull your chest underneath that left arm and look underneath that left arm. Breathe here for three, two, and one. Gently relax the foot down. All we do is switch sides. So we can just bring our left foot to the other end of our mat, right knee to the ground. Lift up for an inhale. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Bring your right hand down. Pop to the ball of your left foot. Left hand behind the left ankle. Get your shoulder underneath the knee. All right. Left hand plants flat on the outside of your left foot. Tilt to the left until that left foot lifts. Right hand's gonna reach down and catch the foot. Now you may stay here, this may feel super intense, so hang out. Otherwise, work on extending the leg. Your left arm, never straighten it fully, it's always micro-bended, so that bottom arm, keep a bend. Push into that left leg, pull yourself underneath the right arm. Hold here, breathe. Left arm not straight, left arm a little bit of a bend. Remember that if you hyperextend, you can create a lot of issues in this particular posture. We want the strength of that bend. Take an inhale, exhale, bend and relax the foot down. All right, come to a down dog, back facing the front of your mat. If your hands or your wrists are sore, take a second to roll them out. I know it's a lot on our hands. We just have a little bit longer to go. Plant your hands. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, bring your knee towards your left elbow. Okay, now, 
Come into almost like a fall on triangle. So you're about to extend your leg towards the left, but then bring your left hand to catch your right foot. You can stay here in this version of a side plank or extend your right leg towards the top of the mat and try to pull your chest forward. Connect your right leg towards your right arm. Breathe here, inhale. Exhale, relax nice and slow. Plant your left hand, step back. Before you can <laughs> overthink it, we're gonna do the other side. Left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, knee to the right elbow. Right hand reaches down to hold the left foot. Make sure your right foot is flat here. And then lift your hips up, kick your left leg to the top of the mat and try to connect your left leg to your left arm. Pop your chest in between that right arm or underneath it. Breathe here for three. Two, and one, bend your knee, plant your hands, step back to plank, inhale, lower all the way to belly, exhale, release your hands, roll your wrists out, plant your hands, knees wide, hips to heels, child's pose. The fiery one today, take a deep inhale, and exhale. Keep your knees wide and your big toes together. Pull your hips forward, so think of this like an up dog. Lift your chest up, full inhale. And exhale back to your child's pose. Engage your core, hips to heels. Once more, inhale, roll up. Drop your hips down, knees stay wide, chest pulls forward. Exhale, child's pose. Come all the way up with an inhale. Bring your knees to the top of the mat. Your feet are gonna go wide. Recline to your pose. Drop your hips in between your ankles. Right here, just notice if this puts a lot of pressure on your knees. And if it does, try to place a pillow of any height underneath your bum. My calves get stuck underneath my thighs, so just roll them to the side. Make sure your feet aren't too wide. They're right up against your hips. You can hang out here or hands back. Tuck your tailbone underneath you. Gently lower your seat onto that block or onto the pillow or onto the ground. And you can stay here or lower to your elbows. You wanna think about lengthening the front side of the body. So notice, a lot of the time, I see a lot of people doing this. Big back bend, belly released, really compressing the lower spine. We wanna lengthen the back. So pull the core in, lengthen the lower back lengthen the front of your body as well. You can stay there. If there's no pillow behind you, you can lie down. Think about again the front body opening up. So send your quadriceps long, open up the hip flexors, and you can keep your arms down or you can bring your arms above your head. Check in here and just notice if there's any tension in the knees that feels not right. And just notice that and if it's there, and feel free to come out of the posture whenever. Otherwise, maybe close your eyes. Take three breaths. And then very gently, when you're ready to, arms down. Walk up to your elbows. Walk up to your hands. Walk yourself forward. Release your legs by tapping your feet along the ground. I'm just going to grab a pillow. Usually I use a block and you can really allow this to be any height that you're comfortable with. But today to close our practice, we're going to lie down on our backs and please grab something, whatever you can, whether it's a pillow or a block or a rolled up really thick blanket, lift your hips up and slide that pillow underneath your hips or slide that prop under your hips. Me personally, I like to have something that is about double to triple this height, but that's going to be completely up to you, your spine, your back, what works for you. And you can stay here, knees can knock together, arms can drop, or you can reach your arms up beside the ears. And you can stay here or you can extend your legs straight out, feet down on the ground. 
So all this simply is doing is elevating the hips up and creating a lot of space through the front body. Check in with where your prop is. If it's too high, you're gonna feel a lot of compression in your lower spine, which again, we don't want. So if you feel like your spine is just crunching and contracting, then slide that pillow, slide the block down a little bit so it's more so right underneath your butt, kind of where your tailbone is. Close your eyes here. We take a deep inhale into the belly. And exhale at the mouth. Once more, inhale. And exhale. Keep your eyes closed and let yourself just hang out here for several more breaths or maybe even several minutes. And this is where I'm going to leave you today for our practice. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week.